Hello and welcome everyone. This is Jabulile aka Malushaba. In today's video, I'm sure you can take a good guess. We are foraging, one of my favorite things to do. And today we are foraging some granadilla, as you can see, and some other um, things that you will see as the video progresses. I hope you all enjoy the video. Mwah. What happened here is that I actually forgot to start recording as we were uh, picking them. So I just wanted to show you um, some of the ones we couldn't reach because they were too high up. We were using a rake. And it can only go so far. <laughs> as you can see, we got a couple of them and... Yeah, my day was just made. Even though we couldn't get some, we did get quite a couple. And on to the next thing we went. Um, I just want to show you guys where I'm pointing. So I'm trying to point as <laughs> accurately as possible. Like right there, there's a there's oh like in between goodness. these two trees. Right there. That's our house. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's not visible but like it's there guys um yeah so it's not this is like a walking distance it's not far uh, but because we're coming <clears throat> from somewhere we just decided to forage on our way back home so these plants by the way that you see on the sides on the side these are yellow flowers are senna leaves a senna, the senna plant um, they are used uh, as a laxative they are also used uh, to make all sorts of teas for uh, health reasons so yeah so now we're going to get a fruit called um, monkey orange in English and in Sesotho it's called mantequan in Isizulu, guys, it's called Isendelenka. And basically what that would mean in English is um, monkey testicle. So on we went to get some monkey testicles. And yeah. <laughs> This plant, guys, is called wild dacha. I will tell you more about it in a bit. You got that spread. Yeah. Nice, huh? Okay. I'm up and stay. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you, Kahap. Yeah, I think we left the boat on the boat. Or in the gear, I think. Okay. Oh, great. Saves us. I guess that's for yeah. painting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Maybe we won't need to. Ouch. Mm. 
Here's one. I think it's close. This one. Yeah. They're hard, ne? <laughs> Look at us. As a scasha ba hodim. Yeah, come to me, Baba. Nah, so ilad can go fetch. I'm sure the right. Be very reachable. Do you see it? Okay, where's the other one? So we've got four, one each. Do you two in my pocket? Yeah, okay, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice one. This plant, like I said, is called wild daha and it comes in two forms firstly you identify this one wild daha by the thin leaves it has and the other one looks exactly like it it's called clip daha and you identify it by the leaves as well the leaves are wider you will immediately recognize it just by looking at the leaves um you'll know which which is which um they have many uses and one of uh their uses is that they are used as an alternative to marijuana. Um, use, what I noticed this season is that we first had um, the clip daha first, and as it died out, then the wild daha came up. Mm. It's not here, we're not there yet, but give more help. I'm too No, I don't think we need one. Didn't you fall? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're here to get some free lemons and just waiting for Mr. Moosey there to come down so we can get us some free lemons.
Okay. Try and get the bigger ones. No, they won't go down. It's fine. I'll fetch them. You keep eking them. River. Uh huh. So all in all, mission complete and successful. We got ourselves some free monkey oranges, some granadillas, and some um, lemons. So I wanted to show you guys how a monkey uh, orange looks like inside. It looks disgusting. I know it looks like the ugliest thing ever, not appetizing looking, but it tastes great. I, I would say that um, it's a marriage between um, an apple and a banana, and they had a baby, and the baby became what is called a monkey orange. So this is what it looks like. Tastes great though.